hey hi welcome so in this video i am going to create integration in that integration we will call plsql procedure or plsql function from integration using atp connection so i have already created procedure and function inside one package so here you can easily see that i have created one package with the name xx atp pkj inside this package we have two function first procedure is that ins insert data so this insert data is a processor and it is not going to return any value it will just take four parameter values and all the same parameter will be inserted into the table so i have taken four parameter and in that four parameter whatever value will be there so the same will be inserted into the table so this is the procedure in C insert data to insert data into atp table using the plsql package and second one we have get data function so this function get data will get id as a parameter pid and it will return all the columns like name class session and id to as a return values so here you can see that we are returning the value just pid concatenated value comma name class and session so we have used one sql query to get the data from table and store same data into a variable and then we are returning same values as a return of this package so i will create integration in that integration i will use i will go call this two function of this package so how we will do we just let me explain so here if you will see i have created the request payload okay so in request payload i will give this value so this say this same value will be like uh, inserted into table by the calling of this package insert data and i will again call this get function and this function will return the value a same value i will return back as a response of that integration okay so let's get started so first i will create integration and i will add the mapping so here i will select app driven integration let me give the name atp and call pl sql package okay now what we need to do is that we need to just click on that create and yes after create so our integration is initiated so we have to use and point so that we can configure the request and the response payload so here i will use rest and point so i have already created rest connection so i will use this rest connection to configure the request and the response payload so here i will give the name to the endpoint so it will be rest atp start rest give the name so insert using package okay and here i will select post because i want to configure request and response payload go next in request in request i have to give the sample so here i have already created the request payload so same i will assign here by clicking on this line and okay now next we have response payload in response i also i have to select the sample and what kind of response we require we response only one value that will response in response we will get the details from package call okay so here i will assign in in line so just i'm waiting for this it's taking time so here i will pass this response sample okay now click on next and done so our request and the response is configured so what next we have to do we have to add atp endpoint so that we can send the request value to that atp so that they can insert data into table so we will add one atp connection over here so using this atp connection so give let me give the name call package atp and here i will select invoke a store processor in previous video i have used run sql statement and before that video i have created video for perform an operation on atp table so now i will select a store processor go next it will ask the schema it will ask the schema name so my schema name is that atp user so i will select that schema and inside that schema whatever package you will have you have created it will show here so in that schema i have only one package that xx atp pkj here i have shown you this package 
XX ATP PKJ. So the same package here it's reflecting in this schema and I will select this package. So once we'll select this package, it will show all the procedure or function inside that package. So here you can see that we have showing here selected procedure that get data, insert data. So here you can see that I have created one procedure get insert data and one function get data. So these two are showing over here. So first I have to insert the data. So I will select insert data function. And as you know that in insert data, we have four parameter P ID, P name, P class, P session. Here you can see that ID name, class session, all these are showing over there. So these are value. Okay. So in mapper, we have to assign all this value to him. Okay. So just click on next. So here you can see that they mentioned all these things. Please ensure store processor get completed by four minutes in order to avoid timeout because they mentioned the timeout is only for four minutes. For use case involving long running stored procedure, please follow step three module a wrapper procedure as fire and fog, forget and invoke. So we can we will left these things just to go and done. So now our ATP endpoint is added here and we have to map this ATP so that it can send a value to this ATP endpoint. So here in mapper I will edit and I will whatever request we receive. Okay, so we will assign this here. So in you can see in request here start endpoint request we have all this value right here we have created one request payload right. So all this payload value are showing over here. So we will map this PID with this PID, P name with this P name p class with this class and p session with this session so now all these values are mapped just click on that validate and then close so now you can see that we have received request while running the integration with the help of a star stressed endpoint and the same request value whatever we get we have assigned to atp database endpoint using this mapper and this will return back the no this will not return any values here you can see that in this is procedure and this procedure is not going to return any values so now here we have completed the integration for inserting data into table using plsql package so now we have another package you can see that we have another package that get procedure that get data and this get data is taking one values one parameter as pid and it is returning the value related to that pid so here we will use another here we will use another ATP endpoint which will call PLSQL procedure PLSQL function and with that function we will get the data. So here call PLSQL function ATP. Now again I will select invoke S2 procedure because i am going to call this function so function and procedure both are called considered as a procedure in oic so just click on next again i will select the uh, user or we can say a schema as atp user and select the package and now this time i will select get data so as you can see that in get data we have only one parameter and one re returning value as a varchar2 so here you can see that here when we select get data we have one parameter p id you can see that right so here just click on next and done so here you can see that for this call package atp we don't have response value but for call pi plsql function we have response value because in response they are returning varchar value right as a result of that data as the data from that table okay so here we have to pass PID. So the PID we are getting from request same I will pass here. So here we have mapping for this call PI just edit this mapping and we will assign value. So you can see that we value in request we are getting PID. So the same data we inserted into table we same data we are going to fetch from this another ATP adapter. So just validate and close. So as we know that this ATP endpoint is returning value. So it means that this ATP endpoint have response. So here we will map this response with map to a star endpoint, a start endpoint. So this map to a start endpoint is nothing but it is the first endpoint. Here we have request and here we have, sorry, here we have response. 
so here we will map the response so what response we need to send we are going to send the response of this endpoint to integration so here just i will edit so here you can see that we have one response as you can see that call plsql function atp response here if you will see call plsql package atp it have only request it doesn't have response because this endpoint is not returning any value okay but this endpoint call function is returning value right here we define that value that because this get data will return the value as varchar that's why it has response payload so here we will go response in response they he will return the value get data it's returning the value so this response we will map with here here okay in response you can say that in as a response payload we have configured this as response that's why it's showing response over there here right? so i will just drag and map so this is the function name and this function is returning only one value that's why it's map over here okay so just click on this validate and close so our integration is completed and in our integration we have taken the request and we have sent the request to plsql package using this call package atp and again we are sending the pid taken in request to the call plsql function end point and this is returning the value and same value we have mapped for returning the response of this integration so let me remove this error related to tracing variable so i will map this name over here and just save and save close so now our integration is configured because it's saved successfully now we have to activate this integration so just i will activate this integration and now here what i have to do is that i have to run this check that integration if activated need to run this integration so here right now if you will see in this table here this is the table where we are going to insert data okay so here if you will see select a star from this table so we have some values in the table okay it's taking time to show so here in this table we have some values okay so let me remove all these values so here in truncate table this table so that it can be inserted from a start okay so this table is truncated and we don't have value in this table you can see that we don't have value in the table so let me run the integration so in integration body we are passing the value so let me pass this value pid as 001 bca stone let it put 01 and now once i will click on the test the same value will be inserted into the table and the response we get what response we got we got response whatever value we return from that get data package function here you can see that in this function get data so in this function we are returning the value as concatenated value of pid p name class and session same value we return in response here you can see that okay and let me check the data is there available in the table so yeah if you will run that query you can see that the 101 is inserted in the table so let me insert another value so suppose here i am going to put this 2 and as s2 and 02 now test the same value you can see that inserted into the table here and we got same value in response same so thank you so much but if you will see if we will assign same value again 101 we will get error you can see that we will get error in integrations here so why we got error because this 101 is primary key in this table this pid is primary key and this primary key cannot have duplicate value and 101 is already present in the table that's why it does not allow to insert same values and now you can see that in response we are getting this long message wrong error message internal server error here and all you can see that processor error these things so we can make a better integration by handling this exception so in next video i will show you how we can handle such kind of exception such kind of error in integration 
for that we have concept of a scope we have concept of fault handling so we will apply the concept of fault handling and a scope in integration so that we can handle such kind of error and whatever value we want to return in response in such case we can return the value so thank you so much for watching in next video i will create that integration for same if you like that video please comment thank you so much